I think she needs to focus on it just being her and the children during her parenting time. And she was dating a married man, and I just don't think that's appropriate. Mr. Gibson just married his wife two months ago. When we filed, his girlfriend was living and acting as a surrogate mother to the children. Chris Dotson has put his hands on me in front of both of my children, and there is proof. This matter is before the court this afternoon for the purpose of reviewing plaintiff mother's parenting time. This hearing is being conducted via Zoom. President is attorney Alex Goldman representing the plaintiff mother, uh, Ms. Sanishan Schmitz. Ms. Uh, Sanishan Schmitz is present. In addition, defendant father Joshua Gibson is also present. It's going to be one. Okay. Parties have conferred with uh, Monroe County in front of the court. Patrice Patrick, who is providing the court the following recommendation that uh, the plaintiff mother's uh, parent time will continue as previously ordered. Which is the court recalls was every Monday, uh, week one, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, five to eight. Week two, Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, five to eight, and Sundays, and noon to six. A prohibition on the significant other being present, uh, present in the presence of the children is vacated. That being Chris Dotson. That's yes. correct, Your Honor. Further, it's recommend that the uh, order uh, provide that neither party shall disparage or make negative remarks about the other party nor allow third parties to make disparaging remarks about the other parent in the presence of the children. That is a recommendation. Mr. Goldman, is this recommendation agree with your client this afternoon? Yes, Your Honor. Right. Uh, Mr. Gibson, do you understand the recommendation? I understand it, but I disagree. What do you disagree, Mom? The parenting time continuing for Mom or the, the boyfriend being present so, or what? She can't even, she has missed, okay, if you calculate it, in the, in the hey, hold on, Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson, why don't you break down what part of the recommendation do you disagree with? You don't think mom should have any parenting time? Oh, no, no, no. She she can have her parents' time. That's not what I'm saying. Hold I, on. The, the first, hold on. The first part of the recommendation, parenting time will continue as ordered. Do you have any objection to that? Absolutely not. She, what is your objection to, to this Chris Dotson being present? Absolutely. Now, now we, we, have, we can communicate now. Okay, what is your objection to Chris Dotson being present? Well, parenting hours, like you said, she only gets Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, week one, 5, eight, 5 to 8 p.m. Week two, she gets yes, Monday. I, the court's aware, court's aware of the hours, yes. That's only 24 hours in a, in a month, 48 the last month. She, she has only done a fourth of her parenting time since the last time we went to, or she has missed a fourth of her parenting time. Sorry, Your Honor. She has missed a fourth of her parenting time since the last time we went to court. I think she needs to focus on it just being her and the children during her parenting time. You only get so much. I feel like it should just be between you and you and the children. Focus all your all your all your energy on the children at that time. The court does not disagree, Mr. Gibson. Um, the, the court's trying to recall why was Mr. Why was that prohibition in there in the first place? What happened? <laughs> married man and she was dating a married man and I just don't think that's appropriate of course now but he's never met my children your honor our okay. children children your honor right um uh, Mr. Goldman with whom does your client reside with Mr. Dotson and uh they go right. sorry you go ahead go ahead I apologize with Mr. Dotson and they go between her grandmother's home and his mother's home that is a lie okay. that is a lie your honor I see her get picked up every single day from that man's house, dropped off from work from that man, picked up before pickup at that house, dropped off after pickup at after drop off at that house. They do, the only time that that woman goes to her grandma's is for the parenting time. So do you believe parenting time should be only at the grandmother's home? Oh, no, they, they could go. This has nothing to do with the parenting time. This has everything to do with he, he doesn't need to be around while they're, she's focusing on her parenting time. Okay. All right. That's a valid point. And Mr. Goldman, what about that? Why this is, it's, it's, it is pretty limited parenting time. A couple hours shouldn't, um, uh, mom should be focused uh, on, on these children. They are, um, what, five and two, five and three, I, they're your young children. It's a valid point. And then JJ will be three in December. Mr. Goldman, are the, is your client engaged yes. to this Mr. Dotson? Yes. They'll be married in October, your honor. Okay. But also, well, maybe you, you can come back in October, but the court's going to agree with uh, Mr. Gibson at this time. Mom is focused should be on the children. She, does she need help with the, your boyfriend? No, and your honor, her, her, in, her intent is not for Mr. Dotson to be present at all times. But for example, if she takes the children to the park, 
that would seem to be an appropriate time for them to gradually be introduced to Mr. Mr. Dotson. You know, he hasn't met them at all over the previous two years. She's respected that boundary, but uh, we just think the absolute prohibition is unnecessary going forward. I still disagree. I, I would note, Your Honor, we were prepared to request no further hearings today and just continue with this as, as the order. But if you would like to set a further hearing, we would respect that. Mr. Gibson, obviously, if Mr. Ms. Shonachan Schmitz marries this person, that, that changes the, the equation. You understand that? I was told the same thing. That's a different story. We could face that one up and to your, it. Your Honor, Mr. Gibson just married his wife two months ago. When we filed, his girlfriend was living and acting as a surrogate mother to the children. No, she was it not. Would be a, it would be a double standard to apply that's that made, to Ms. Shonachan Schmitz. That's made to you, but that Gibson, is not. Mr. So, Gibson. Right, Mr. Gibson, sorry. do not interrupt, please. Yes, sir. Just button it, let Mr. Goldman finish, then I'll give you a chance to respond. Mr. Goldman? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All I was saying is that the children lived with Mr. Gibson and his girlfriend for several months before they got married. That is not true. Which part of that is not true? I have never lived with my girlfriend. I went over there and stayed the night, but my address has never been over there. The kids have never, they've stayed the night there once or twice or three times, but they have never lived there. They have lived here their entire lives. 609 West 6th Street. Your Honor, that is a lie. That is not a lie. Just because I don't have legal representation to prove that I'm not lying, but that doesn't mean I'm lying. I'm telling the absolute truth. They have lived here their entire lives. We could hold an evidentiary hearing on this matter. And last time I but checked- Your Honor, I think it's easier and simpler for everybody to just allow Mr. Dobson, let's trust Ms. Sonics and Schmidt's discretion, which up to this point has been stellar, Trust that she's going to continue to focus on her children, but gradually introduce Mr. Dotson into their lives and no oh. further hearings needed at this time. All right. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Gibson. How can you focus your energy on your children when you've got someone else around? They need her full undivided, not his. Mr. Her. Gibson, how did you focus on your children when your girlfriend was around? Uh, she worked and I, I also was with them all the time. What do you mean? I focused well, on Mr. Gibson, Mr. Gibson, uh, you're not present during mom's party time. How do you know she's not giving the children her undivided attention? Based on the, all the hours that she's missed and gave up. Okay. Well, she's choosing not to exercise on brain time, but when the children are with her, how do you know she's not giving undivided attention to the children? I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I haven't well, what, said that. I'm sorry. Hold on, Mr. Gibson. That's what you're saying. You're saying that this uh, uh, Mr. Doss, if he's present, she's not going to ever give her undivided attention to the children. And I'm saying, uh, when, uh, how do you know when he's there that she's not going to? Oh, uh, because assuming. we can wait when Jordan, would you like to talk to Jordan when he comes home from school and ask him how he feels? I'm, I'm sorry, who? Ask who? Jordan, our oldest. Is he, scared? Is he afraid of Mr. Dotson? He tells me that all the time and that mommy talks to them on the phone when they're not even supposed to be on the phone with him. Now, why is my five-year-old coming home and telling me? I wasn't even going to bring that up. But since we're going to continue this on, I will bring it up. I'm glad Mr. Gibson raised that point. How are the children afraid of somebody that they haven't met unless Mr. Gibson has been poisoning them against oh, Mr. Dotson this entire time? Chris Dotson has put his hands on me in front of both of my children, and there is proof. My my sister has proof. My mother has proof. The neighbors have proof. Did you uh, did you file a complete report if he assaulted you, Mr. Gibson? No, I did not. That was my stupid. Have done. But, I, uh, Right there again, has there been any incident uh, where Mr. Dotson has been, been, been engaged in uh, any assault or domestic violence in the presence of the children? Did this occur in the presence of the children, Mr. Gibson? Not that I know of, but right. I just. Well, that's I, what I the courts would look at. If in fact there's been some inappropriate conduct in the presence of the children. But obviously, Ms. Sunshine probably wants the children present at her wedding. That's appropriate. The children should be present at her wedding. And uh, uh, what, I'm saying, uh, what, what day is the wedding, Mr. Goldman? I'll defer to my client. October 28th. Okay. Where are you getting married? Um, I'm unsure of the location currently. We're still in the process of planning that part. Well, I disagree. I, all right. I'm not standing my ground. I'm tired of being pushed over. I'm standing my ground. I disagree. All right. Well, at some point in time, it's going to change, Mr. Gibson. At this point in time, it sounds like the uh, October 20th is a very uh, questionable date. It's like, well, we're sort of thinking of that. We don't have any plans yet. We're getting married or where the reception is. So at this point in time, the, the court Mr. Gip, with Mr. Gibson, where the court will keep in that prohibition. We can review this in, in uh, mid-October. 
if Miss Sunshine Ms. Schmitz has got details of wedding, uh, then obviously the children could be present at that wedding, Mr. Gibson. If she's going to marry this person, and uh, again, unless there's some, you have some evidence that this person is a danger to the children or has acted inappropriately in the presence of the children, if he's just assaulted uh, uh, Miss Sonnenshen, Schmitz, if he's assaulted her in the presence of the children or the, the, he's done something inappropriate, then that's a whole different ballgame. But at some point in time, they're going to have to get to know this person, especially if they're going to marry their mother. Okay, so, so the prior order of this court, not only specified mom's parent time, but to still allow us for video chats with the children at 6.30, is that have been occurring? Yes, absolutely. So only, only the biological parents should be present at the children's IE appointments and parent-teacher conferences, that's parents only. So the, the, Mr. Ms. Patrick Court, if you can modify your recommendation, they simply that mother, the all prior orders shall continue to share main full force and fact. The parties should make any disparaging remarks, which says review in, in uh, middle October. I've seen what time. How about the morning of October 16th? Are you available, Mr. Goldman? I am. About 8.30 on October 16th. Mr. Gibson, does that work with your schedule in the morning, October 16th? That's a Wednesday. 8.30. Uh, that'll be around school time. Can we push for like 9? We can do 9 o'clock. That's good for me, Your Honor. All right. So um, we're going to add to this recommendation that we'll review parenting time October 16th at 9 a.m. Mr. Gibson, unless there's some, like I said, unless you have some evidence that these, Mr. Dotson is a danger to the children or he's exhibited conduct which is harmful to the children. And mom is, uh, has a confirmed weight, the court's going to allow him to be present. So uh, until then, the court will continue. All prior orders of the, this court shall continue. Mr. Dotson shall not be present. Video chats, 630 between mom and the children. The mom's parenting time is previously stated. Anything further, Mr. Goldman? No, Your Honor. Mr. Gibson, anything further this afternoon? Oh, no, not, not that I can think of right now. I think we're all good. And Jordan can still keep a phone in his uh, possession during mother's parenting time for emergency purposes. So yes, the priorities of this court going back to March 4th, those will all continue. We're reviewed on October 16th, 9 a.m. All right, that will conclude here. You can all zoom out. I can't tell you which of your six children need your support more than the others. Okay, that's I can't do that. I do understand, Mr. Green, that you're paying a lot of child support, but you have a lot of children. I don't know how you're going to be able to survive, but I, I tried to set it based on what you told me.